I look at what's in front of me, don't focus on the other things I know that if I'm struggling, that only leads to a tough for me And I want and need something that could challenge me Build up all my calluses, push through all their callousness Becoming reckless, I'm ambitious and I'm restless, yeah Was an apprentice but possessed a different engine So I asked a lot of questions and I learned a lot of lessons, yeah Got different weapons and I worked on my direction, and yeah we hike through the flames We gon' die with a name And we gon' fight through the pain We gon' rise up and change And we gon' strive to make gains Cause we don't hide from the blame we gon' rise up and chain We gon' fight through the flame We gon' die with the Welcome back guys in a new video comparison today uh, for the comparison between the uh, Ali Zero SL and the Boston 11. Subscribe if you haven't yet, uh, you know it's very important for me. It's just one click for you. Let's keep this channel going. Uh, you are making me very happy. I got asked several times which shoe is better to pick. Uh, so let's get this comparison done. I'm using both shoes since months. Uh, you can find the video reviews available in the channel if interested in all the details. Uh, uh, let's get started from the specs, uh, outsole, midsole and upper uh, and finally I'll give you my final uh, conclusions. As we can see from the specs, uh, while the drop is basically the same, uh, the stack height and the uh, weight is different. While the SL is uh, lighter and uh, a bit lower to the ground, uh, not that low, uh, the Boston 11 has uh, more form in the midsole uh, for an higher stack, uh, which of course increases the weight. Also now, the house has different design pattern, uh, but somehow similar, uh, more rubber in the SL, more sports form in the Boston 11, both have uh, a good grip, uh, but I found the grip in the SL better uh, due to design pattern, uh, but I would still suggest uh, both shoes mostly for the road. In terms of durability, I believe we could uh, Estimate the same uh, durability uh, or range, uh, maybe a bit longer in the Boston 11, uh, which has the continental rubber. I ran almost uh, 100 miles in both shoes and uh, they look still brand new. The sports form in the Boston 11 is more extended uh, uh, than in the SL, uh, but in terms of flexibility, both shoes are very similar. Maybe the Boston 11 is slightly better because of the Light Strike uh, Pro form, uh, which is softer than the normal Light Strike. The SL uh, has neither a um, torsion system nor um, energy roads, uh, while the Boston 11 has uh, the energy roads, as you can see, which are better in terms of efficiency, uh, as you can see from uh, the running dynamics uh, collected here. Despite the ground the time, in fact, it's almost the same at the different paces. Uh, the vertical oscillation ratio is lower in the Boston 11, Therefore, it means the Boston 11 uh, propel you forward better than the SL, uh, while the response uh, of the shoes are uh, basically uh, the same. Midsole now. Another difference is the form used. Uh, while the SL is basically entirely made of the uh, uh, Light Strike form with the small insert of Light Strike Pro in the forefoot, as you can see here, the Boston 11 has a Light Strike Pro extended throughout all the the, the shoe. This is uh, a premium form uh, used by Adidas in the races like the Adidas Pro and Takumi C9, uh, which is more balanced and responsive uh, than the Light Strike, uh, which is pretty thin, as you can see from the test uh, with the durometer. The dimensions are also different. The SL uh, got a wider forefoot and a narrower heel uh, than the Boston 11, uh, and overall, I felt more shoe in my feet when it comes to run with the SL. Despite the higher stockade uh, and uh, the weight of the Boston 11. The rocker design in the forefoot is quite similar, but uh, I believe the Light Strike Pro and the Energy Roads uh, contribute uh, to have a feeling uh, uh, of more comfort and uh, more dynamic transition uh, and rolling motion. Upper now. The upper are totally different, kind of uh, light, uh, stylish in the Boston uh, 11 uh, with a st standard room. Uh, as in the other shoes in the forefoot, um, it's very breathable and uh, with some uh, reinforcement uh, which I like aesthetically speaking. On the other end, we have uh, a stretchy, uh, strong upper in the version uh, SL uh, with less room uh, in the forefoot despite it's wider than uh, Boston 11 and uh, the other shoes in the lineup. The heel counter is uh, over padded in the SL, a lot of padding here as you can see. I prefer the one in the Boston 11 with a good internal padding is one of my favorite uh, counter in the lineup uh, better than the other 7 
for instance, or, or the Takumi C9. Tanks are both breathable and comfortable, uh, but I prefer the one in the Boston 11 uh, because it's lighter and uh, it has a central padding just to protect your feet. In regard to the laces, unfortunately, the SL uh, um, still use this uh, thinner laces, so I prefer the laces in the Boston 11, which are the traditional one, and this uh, and are better for the foot lockdown. In terms of durability, the upper in the SL might be more durable because it's very strong and stretchy, uh, even though I have no signs of wear even in the uh, Boston 11. So in conclusion, as we can see from the running uh, dynamics uh, collected, it, look, it looks like uh, the Boston 11 is better, especially in terms of uh, uh, vertical oscillation. So um, in terms of efficiency of the shoe, of course, uh, why with the SL I would not uh, run any tempo run, uh, I would say, because I don't feel this shoe uh, uh, like a best fit for tempo run, to be honest. With the uh, Boston 11 it's another story. Uh, I would for sure, and I did, uh, and um, it was a great feeling during the tempo run. In terms of stability, both feels okay, uh, even if the Boston 11 got a wider heel, uh, uh, which is better in, for the heel uh, strikers and uh, for slow or easy uh, running. I believe both shoes uh, are okay in, when it comes to uh, slow runs, uh, but not when it comes to uh, faster trainings. The Boston 11 in this case is for sure uh, much better than the SL, even though it is heavier. You know, I pronate a bit uh, and uh, Boston 11 uh, was uh, a bit annoying uh, on the um, inside of the uh, foot uh, during long workouts, uh, something uh, which didn't happen with the SL. But despite that, if uh, I would look for a daily trainer, definitely I would for sure take um, the Boston 11 uh, because it's more versatile than the model SL. Uh, it feels like a real Adi Zero. Uh, not like the SL. This is uh, an example when the weight is not making the difference in the running shoe. On top of it, the Boston 11 has been delivered already since months, uh, so you might find out there in the market a uh, very good uh, discount. I hope guys it was useful. Uh, if you like this video, leave a like. It's very important for the YouTube algorithm. And uh, of course, as always, thanks for watching and uh, till the next time, keep running. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never captain's face I won't stop till I hear him say